Oh, look, I have a dead sound chicks mark custom. It says it right there, chicks mark custom, but nothing. There's no sound. All you Modi X and Montage owners, I'm going to save you a lot of heartache and pain by showing you how to take a sound out of a library and extract just that one sound and then delete the library and still have the sound. So I have here Chicks Mark V set up. I have this also backed up on a USB, so um, make sure you do that as well. Have all your libraries backed up. Chicks Mark V. So when I look in the live set, there it is. And I have all these sounds that came with it. These were free. I don't know if they still are, but they were a free, fantastic library of sounds. I'm just going to use this as an example. Say I want to keep the uh, one of these. So I'm going to say, let's do Mark 5. I'm going to say store. Store is new performance. Instead of Mark 5, I'm going to say uh, custom. Cut. Custom. Okay. Go. There it is. I have it. Category search. I'll go to user. And there it is. I saw it already, but I'm going to go into user. And there it is at the bottom. Chicks mark custom. Now what I'm going to do is, okay, I want to get rid of that library now. So I would make some space, you know, especially if you're a Modi X owner, you only have a gigabyte. So you're constantly trying to juggle that space. So what we're going to do is in contents, we're going to do data utility library and then chicks mark five, delete, delete. Now I have this backed up. Remember you want to make sure you, you have the, the backup file before you do this. I mean, you could always uh, go get it again, but maybe they'll start charging for the um, for the library. Whereas they were free for a long time. I don't know if they still are. I might like, do a follow up video, but um, they were charging for the Bosendorfer. Um, I think they're trying to charge for that one. Ninety nine dollars now. It used to be free. Okay, so if you see inside the, the library here, there is no Chicks Mark V library or Chicks uh, library anymore. It's gone. I'm going to go to my performance home. I have this sound. Let's go to my user all. So it's called custom. I'm going to look at all my custom. Chicks Mark custom. It says it right there. Chicks Mark custom but nothing. There's no sound. There's nothing in this file. Um, none of the elements are there. They're all hollowed out because when I got rid of the library, all the data went with it. So if you ever come across this, you have a, a sound that you did this to and you didn't realize at the time and you came back to it at a later time and said, oh, look, I have a dead sound in um, in my library, in, I mean, in my uh, user bank. It's because of this. When you saved it, when you stored it, you thought it was going into your user bank, and it did, but all the data associated with that AWM part was actually locked into the, the library, the Chicks library. So when you deleted the library, it took all the data from it. So you still have the name there, but nothing will uh, will sound anymore. So um, the way to do this, to actually keep the sound with all the data, is you go and you find one that uh, you go and you find one you like from a library. So let's say I, I'm going to use the Berzendorf for one of my favorite libraries, Ambient Trailer. Love this one. And what we want to do is instead of hitting store, usually you would say store, right? And then say store is a new performance, and then you type in whatever name. You don't do that. When you find the one you want, remember the name of it for one thing, because you're going to go into utility. Utility, okay? Now when you get there, contents. 
So no matter where you are, you might be in something else. You might be one of these other. So I'll go back to home. Because a lot of times when you hit utility, it doesn't take you to where you want to go. You want to get contents. Yeah. It goes to the last thing you were at. Uh, after you hit contents, look on the right side. This opened up here. And you have library import. That's the one you want to press. Okay. Contents library import. Now I see... Um, what do I see? Buzzendorfer, top one. Click that. See what it does? It opens up all the files inside of that one library. And then you can go through and check the ones you want. You can take more than one. You can take five. But you have to check off the ones you want. If you don't do that, it's not going to be obvious what's going on here. So um, I think I want an ambient trailer. Pick that one. Now, I noticed that one. I selected it. Over here, import to user bank showed up. Now I'm going to deselect, I'm going to unselect, and watch, it's going to disappear. See how this now here? If you select them, import to user bank shows up. If you don't, so if you go first come to this page and look at this, it doesn't make any sense. You have to choose something. And then you have import to user bank. Selected item will be copied to your user bank, import, and now you have that part independent of the library, and you can delete the library and still have all the data associated with that one part. So hopefully this saves you Modix and Montage users a lot of heartache and trying to look through the manual because you won't find this. In the meantime, I'll give a little plug for synths and guitars. Thanks for uh, all your subs and your support over all these years. And if you haven't done so already, please jam that subscribe button and get on board with the synths and guitars channel. I put all kinds of sound design and workstation workflow, mostly Modix and Montage because that's what I use and that's what I like. Um, but I also do a lot with FM synthesis, and I will be doing things with guitars as well. All right, so it took a good uh, 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes for it to, to actually save. That was a real big file. But it'll come back to the page you were just on, the library import page. Now I'm going to show you. Here it is. I have the part now. Now the, the, the name doesn't change, so... Um, if you happen to not delete the library right away, you'll have two with the same name. So it's really important that you change the name of this. Let me show you where this one is too. If we go into live set, this is not it. So in the Berzendorfer library, which I have not deleted, uh, I have ambient trailer there, but that's the one that's in the library. If I go to category search user and I search for, I go all the way to the bottom. So Whenever you put something in your user bank, it adds it to the bottom of the list. If you ever want to find the, the latest thing you've added in, just scroll all the way to the bottom. So there it is, Ambient Trailer. This one is different. This is one that's not tied to the library anymore uh, because of the procedure. It looks exactly like uh, it, if you had saved this the other way. So the, the good thing to do or the thing that you want to do with this is you want to change the name of this one. Go up in here, performance name, C-U-S-T, Syst. That's going to be bad. Hit store. And we're going to do overwrite. That's how I, I had to do that. So and I'm also going to say... Change it even more. I want I like all caps. That's what it stands out. Okay. Now I got capital cust ambient trailer cust. Now I got to store it again. Overwrite. That's what I had to do. Now when I go back in category search, there it is at the bottom. It's different from the one here. This ambient trailer is different from ambient trailer cussed so now I can delete that library and 
have this part and save up uh, and open up a bunch of space in my user bank. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.